పాత పెన్షన్తో దేశ ప్రయోజనాలు సర్వనాశనమవుతాయని మాజీ ఐఏఎస్ జయప్రకాశ్ నారాయణ ఆవేదన వ్యక్తం చేశారు ఓపీఎస్తో దేశ ప్రయోజనాలకు వికాతం కలుగుతుందన్నారు మూడు శాతం ఉన్న ఉద్యోగులను ప్రసన్నం చేసుకునేందుకు తొంభై ఏడు శాతం ప్రజల బతుకులను దెబ్బతీయాలి అనుకోవటం దారుణమన్నారు if you take the salaries pensions and interest in many states the average is 121% of the government's own revenues 121% of the government's own revenues is going away in salaries pensions and interest payments if you take the total revenues including government of india transfers it is still about 80% of the total revenues already it will reach 200% 300% 500% of the revenues not in the distant future some of us here are a little age therefore we will not see that day but almost all of you will see that day 2041 it will be 220% of the revenue 2050 it will be 294% so there is an imminent fiscal disaster waiting to happen across the country in 2004 in vajpayee government eshwan sinha as finance minister he started today he participated in this online in our national round table he started introduced the government introduced by unanimous consent in parliament and across the country all parties came together introduced the new pension system which is contributed very much like america britain france germany employee puts x money government puts x money but now it's put away in a pension fund from that you draw pension so a sustainable pension only for the new recruits people who were there earlier already in government they'll continue for the next 50 60 years the old pension scheme there's nothing much we can do but at least from then onwards 19 years it went off very well except west bengal all states embraced it manmohan singh government which came later aggressively pursued it dr manmohan singh montek singh alwalia he participated today montek singh alwalia in this national